Hello, Steve Dennis here, and today I want to share with you the five questions that you can ask yourself as a leader. They're guaranteed to help you. Come on, let's grow. This is so exciting. Let me tell you why. In fact, let me start off by asking you a question. Do you happen to recall your very first leadership position? Where were you? What were you doing? Uh, what led to your promotion of being a leader? Well, let me, let me share with you about mine, okay? I was actually 21 years old and I was promoted at the Youth Detention Center in Rome, Georgia, and uh, became the second shift supervisor. And what I, what I did not know then that I do know now about leadership is that um, how important it is to have in your mind your own particular leadership practice, okay? So today, I wanna to talk with you about five traits of an effective leader by, it, by primarily emphasizing your leadership practice. Here's what I know. When I got that promotion, that, that promotion at the YDC, the Youth Detention Center, um, I had people that were peers, that, I, that worked alongside of me, that now I'm having to be their, their supervisor, or their leader. And um, I recall uh, dealing with the tension of being somewhat in the middle. For an example, you have people above you, your upper management, you have other people who are around you, your colleagues, and you also have those that are under you that you're leading. They're basically your direct report. So here's my whole point. Coming up with your own personal leadership practice, and I'm excited to share with you a couple. In fact, be, be prepared to add to my list, okay? So, for an example, number one would be, how will I treat people? Think about that for a minute. How will I treat people? When I'm working with them, when I'm leading them, what particular practice do I have in place of how I plan on treating people? people. I love this statement that no matter who you're leading, no matter where you're leading, everyone deserves to be led well. So again, the leadership practice again, how will I treat people? Number two, what example will I set? What particular example will I set within my leadership practice? And gang, here's what I know about leadership. It is so important for you and I to know in advance how we plan on, number one again, how we plan on treating people and also the kind of example that you and I want to set. Well, you know what? This will not only work in your profession. It won't, it won't just work in your department. But you know what? This particular statement will also help you within your family. What example do you want to set? I'm laughing because I remember a time that, um, a quick story about my mom when I was a kid, um, back in the 70s, okay? And so uh, an insurance salesman or insurance agent would come by the house to collect the premiums for my mom's life insurance and whatever kind of insurance that she had. I was a kid and I will never forget this, this example, this particular story that happened when I was a kid. Well, <laughs> so sometimes a guy would come by and knock on the door and uh, mom knew cause she looked outside the window. She knew it was the insurance guy and she would say to me, uh, tell him I'm not at home. <laughs> especially if the money was running low. And I'll never forget the day that she was in the background waiting on me to go to the door and answer the door. And sure enough, that the insurance guy came to the door and I opened the door. He said, hey, young man, is your mom here? And here's my response. I said, my mama told me to tell you that she's not at home. <laughs> and my whole point is simply this. My mom gave me that example, okay? <laughs> now, go on the flip side of it. I didn't take it into my, parent, my parenting life, uh, but at the same time, it was, became a very unique lesson to learn of how, what kind of example am I setting? What kind of example are you setting in front of your family, in front of your direct reports, the people who report to you? What type of example are you setting as a leader, okay? Number three, how will I motivate people? <laughs> That's another question you and know, I can ask ourselves in regards to uh, having our own particular and our own specific leadership practice. How will I motivate other people? You do realize that people are wired differently. Some people are more dominant in their personalities. Some are more inspiring. Some are more cautious and some are more just steady 
as far as personalities. And, and oftentimes, one of the biggest challenges that you and I have as leaders is how do I motivate people who may be wired differently from me? Well, my friend, very simply, I want to encourage you. This is a question I want to really highly encourage you to think into in advance, to know in advance, how will you motivate other people? Recognize that some people, their motivations are totally different than others. But as a leader, it becomes our responsibility to find out what are some ways of how I can choose to motivate my people. Number four, what will I expect? I love this. What will I expect from others? To know in advance, what will I expect? What, what do I expect from the people that I'm leading? And again, <laughs> so I have what I call my main event thought that I want to share with you in corresponding with the question, what will I expect from others? Okay, now, don't tell anybody this, but I do from time to time watch the WWE wrestling, okay? <laughs> One of the things that captures my attention on Monday nights is when they announce who's going to be the main event. And the main event oftentimes is the, the people who are going to be wrestling. And, and I tell myself, okay, I'm going to stay up and watch the main event. The show comes on at 8 o'clock and it goes off at 11. The main event shows up around 10, 20. <laughs> Here's my point. I have my main event. My main event statement I want to give you today on these different traits of effective leadership. And this particular question, my friend, will help you and I to really hone in on a personal leadership question. Now, gang, let me go and let you know in advance. This particular question is one that I ask myself every day that helps me to stay on course, that helps me to stay on track with my leadership, be that leading my family, my nonprofit, my for-profit, this particular, oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're here because I want you to hear this so bad, okay? This question will help you as a leader to really amplify your effectiveness as a leader. Are you ready for it? You're probably sitting there thinking, okay, I'm ready, Steve. I'm, I'm, I'm writing notes, so please give it to me. Okay, here we go. Are you making things better? Here's the question. Are you making things better for the people who follow you? Wow. Are you making things better for the people who follow you? I ask that question every day. Steve, are you making things better for your family who's following you? Steve, are you making things better for your nonprofit that, who are following you? Steve, are you making things better for your for-profit team, your business team that follow you? What are you doing, Steve, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, that's making things better? Come on now. Listen, I know, I, I trust that you really got some value from that one. It's one of my favorite main event statements I want to give with, share with you today in regards to, again, these different traits of effective leadership. Here's a quote from, I want to share with you, a quick quote that uh, would really amplify uh, what I just shared, okay? The bottom line, the bottom line in leadership isn't how far we advance ourselves, but how far we advance others. Oh, my friend, think about it <laughs> because <laughs> check this out. It, you know, if you're leading people, if you're, if you're all alone, because often I've heard this statement a lot that it's lonely at the top. It's lonely being a leader. And I didn't really agree with that because here's the bottom line. If I'm by myself as a leader, I don't have anybody that I'm leading. Nobody's following me. <laughs> okay. So my whole point here is simply this helping others to advance. Helping others to become better is an amazing trait that will help you to be more effective within your leadership. And then finally, finally, what must I do? Number five, what must I do to lead myself successfully? What must I do to lead myself successfully? Another question for you and I to entertain, because here's the bottom line. When you come up with your own answers to these five questions, they're going to they're gonna help you to tap into a higher level of effectiveness as a leader. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of my, a few of my thoughts in regards to um, 
how to lead yourself effectively, okay? And, and real quickly, okay? So number one, number one, how do I lead myself effectively? Number one, I will choose and display the right attitude. Number two, I will determine, I will determine and act on important priorities. Number three, I will communicate with and care for my family. Number four, I will practice and develop good thinking. <laughs> and then number five, I love number five. Check this out. And I'm, I'm closing. I will make and keep proper commitments. I just shared with you five leadership thoughts that can help you and I to be more effective in leading ourselves successfully. Okay. Thank you for, for being with me today. And I've enjoyed my myself and enjoy sharing these concepts with you about the five traits of effective leadership. Thank you very much.